Welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss in detail about a class that comes under uh, the subphylum Eurocore data, that is class SDAC. Uh, last class, we were discussing about uh, class Larvaceae and one of its member that is Oikoplura. So, in this session, we will discuss another class uh, which comes under subphylum Eurocore data, and uh, that is class SDAC. And also, we will uh, look uh, deep into uh, the salient features of uh, the member uh, Acidia. Okay, Acidia is a member of or an organism that comes under class SDAC. And also, we will uh, study what is retrogressive metamorphosis. Okay, retrogressive metamorphosis is an important character that is exhibited by most of the members of uh, this class, that is SDAC uh, class. So, we will uh, study in detail what is uh, this particular uh, character, that is retrogressive metamorphosis, and what is the difference between uh, the adult uh, stage of the members of class SDAC and also the uh, larval stages. Okay. So, we will move on to our first uh, uh, session that is uh, class Acidiaceae. The salient features in roots, most of the members of class Acidiaceae are marine. Okay, so we were discussing about tunicates, right? All the members of uh, subphylum Eurocordata are commonly known as tunicates, right? So, all the members of uh, class Acidiaceae are also tunicates because it includes uh, all the eurocordates. So, uh, all the members are marine or they are exclusively marine. None is found in the terrestrial uh, as well as in aquatic environment. And uh, mostly they are sedentary forms. That means they, uh, they are seen uh, associated with a particular substratum. They are not uh, found uh, always uh, freely moving. But there are uh, some members that are uh, free swimming forms okay and most of them are sedentary uh, but one uh, peculiar feature is that their larval stages are found free swimming okay so all, the members of class acidac have got a larval stage as well as an adult stage and in its larval stage we can find them as free floating or free swimming but uh, when they enter into the adult stage or adulthood then they uh, mostly they are sedentary okay and they possess a test okay uh, test we have uh, last class we discussed that test or it is also called as uh, tunic isn't it so it is actually an envelope that is uh, a protective envelope and it is soft leathery and translucent uh, in uh, nature okay so test is permanent and notochord and tubular nerve cord and tail are absent in adults this is what you have to remember in adult stage uh, you cannot find notochord tubular nerve cord and a tail the notochord and uh, tubular nerve cord and tail is actually the characteristic feature of a chordate, isn't it? So, in its larval stage, it has got the notochord, tubular nerve cord and a tail. But when it enters into an adult stage, you cannot find these three uh, structures. That is, notochord is absent, tubular nerve cord is absent and tail is also absent in its adult stage. Then uh, well-developed pharynx is present and this pharynx possesses large number of gill slits. Okay, you can find a large number of gill slits uh, in this organism or the members of uh, class Acidiaceae. Sexes are united, that means they are uh, hermaphrodite. Okay, and reproduction uh, is carried out both sexually and also asexually. And it has got a larval stage, which is a free swimming, as I have already told you. Then uh, highly developed larval stage. Uh, this is because uh, in the larval stage, it has got all the chordate characters. Okay, so we were discussing about the uh, phylum chordata, isn't it? Phylum chordata comprises of three different uh, subphylum, in which uh, Eurochordata is one of the subphylum that comes under phylum chordata. In the subphylum uh, Eurochordata, one class is class Acidiaceae. Clear? 
so uh, but the members of class acidaceae have got uh, a larval stage in this larval stage uh, most of the uh, chordate characters are seen but during its adult stage you cannot find most of the chordate characters or chordate characters are lost when it enters to a larval uh, sorry adult stage okay so in the larva actually uh, it is highly developed larva but it undergoes retrogressive metamorphosis that means in the larval stage this particular organism have got all the advanced characters okay that is uh, well developed in autocode then uh, tubular nerve code and tail is present but when it enters to an adult stage all the advanced characters are lost okay and which is called a retrogressive metamorphosis or uh, some organism that exhibit them mainly the members of class acidaceae exhibit advanced characters in the larval stage but during its life stages it lose or it it uh, it get lost uh, when it enters towards the adulthood such a character is called a retrogressive metamorphosis clear which is a very important point and that is uh, retrogressive metamorphosis and uh, example is acidia which is a member of uh, this class acidaceae next we will uh, look what is acidia here i have provided the diagram of acidia here you can find it it has got different uh, colors but uh, when it is alive you can find this particular organism in a pink a very light pinkish uh, colored nature okay so here is another acidia and here is the third one it has got two openings okay these are two openings uh, one is called the branchial aperture and here you can find uh, the atrial aperture okay these are the two openings of uh, acidia the branchial opening or the sorry the branchial aperture is also called the mouth okay and here is the small one that is the uh, atrial aperture okay so actually they are mostly found attached to the rocks because they are the adult stage isn't it all the free swimming stages or the free swimming forms are actually the larval stage but when it enters to an adult stage you can find most of them are found uh, attached to the rocks or other hard substances or objects then they are seen light pink color when alive and uh, it has also got uh, a leathery translucent case which is known as the test or the uh, tunic and it possesses two openings that is branchial aperture and atrial aperture and acidians are uh, known as c squirts uh, because when they are disturbed they actually contract its uh, body and it uh, squirt out jets of water through these openings and hence they are called sea skirts okay and you can find their uh, digestive system in the u-shaped and uh, it has got the mouth and anus opening on the same uh, direction and as i've already told you that it has got a larger pharynx and this pharynx is the uh, uh, food collecting aperture okay pharynx is the food collecting aperture and circulatory system uh, ah, one of the important feature of this uh, member that is acidiaceae or the uh, acidia is it shows a periodic reversal of the blood flow okay that is the circulatory tree system show periodic reversal of the blood uh, flow that means uh, actually what happens here is their heart can contract in opposite direction alternatively in every three to four minutes that's why it shows periodic reversal of blood flow okay this is uh, another interesting feature of this uh, organism and also they lack all the special uh, sense organs mainly in its um, uh, in its adult stages uh, and they possess individual receptors to uh, detect uh, pressure then light temperature and chemical and tactile stimulus they lack all these special sense organs but possess individual receptors okay receptors are present that helps in the detection of uh, pressure then light temperature and chemical and other tactile uh, stimuli then nephrocytes help in the excretion okay they, they are specialized to cell and they help in the excretory purpose then acidians are hermaphrodites or their sexes are united uh, 
fertilization is external okay and they avoid self fertilization clear and here is uh, the uh, retrogressive metamorphosis that i have already told you uh, that uh, in its uh, larval stage or during its larval stage it has got all the advanced characters of a chordate but when it uh, enters to an adult stage okay or when it uh, enters to an adult stage all the advanced characters of the chordate is actually lost such an uh, such a process is called a retrogressive uh, metamorphosis okay and major changes occurring during the metamorphosis are uh, the tubular nerve cord is reduced to a solid ganglion okay so uh, in its larval stage you can easily find a tubular nerve cord but it is actually reduced to a solid ganglion in its adult stage and all the sense organs such as eye spots and autocyst uh, autocyst is uh, somewhat similar to that of the stato, uh, statocyst and it uh, autocyst is a fluid uh, filled um, cavity uh, in which it uh, possess uh, autolith okay so uh, eye spots and autocyst is uh, actually uh, lost during its adult stage but in its larval stage you can find this eye spot and uh, autocyst uh, mouth opens to outside then uh, stomach and intestine grow and increase in the length okay then uh, pharynx greatly increase in size and become branchial sac then more number of gill slits are formed then heart and circulatory system get well developed then gonads and uh, gonoducts uh, get developed and thick translucent test is secreted by the ectoderm okay so uh, in during its uh, adult stage you can find the ectoderm starts to secrete this uh, soft leathery translucent uh, substance that is or the envelope that is the test okay so that's all about the um, class acidiaceae and its member acidia Thank you.